Welcome back to channel level one. Today I want to go over two hidden menus, secret settings that's worth checking out on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Now these haven't been around for a long time, but if you're not on the newest version or newest update of your Fire Stick, this might not work. So this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Fire Stick. Then we're going to jump into those two secret settings. So before we do, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. I am going to try to keep this video short, but before we try any of these, uh, you want to go over and make sure your Fire Stick is up to date. On this video, I am using the Fire TV Stick Lite, but this should work on your Fire TV 4K, 4K Max, or any Fire TV Stick or Fire TV device that has the newest software. So to check for your update, what you're going to do is go to your settings, do that, just go all the way to the right. All right, we're going to scroll down to My Fire TV. And we're going to click on About. All right. Gives you some information there. The Fire TV Stick Lite gives you the device name, capacity, Amazon account, everything that you need to know, as well as the serial number. We're going to go down to Check for Updates. So you can see my version. Again, this is the Fire TV Stick Lite, Fire OS 7.2.9.2. And it gives you some of the uh, build information to the right of that. I did check for update today. So this is uh, August 31st, 2022. What you'll do is just go ahead and click on check for update. All right. So look like mine's up to date. So you want to go through the updates until you get this message right here. Just saying that your Fire TV is up to date. Uh, for me, I did take a couple updates to be current. So you might have to do this a couple of times. Restart your Fire Stick and then let the update install. All right, so once everything's been verified, we're gonna go back home and we're gonna go into the first setting and this is built into the Fire TV Stick. So the first one is gonna be advanced network information. So this is gonna come in handy. It's gonna allow you to do speed checks, it's gonna allow you to check some of your network information. That way, if you're troubleshooting, whether it's buffering, if you if you just wanna see some network information, you'll have it right there for you to check out. So to get to this, you're gonna to go to your settings again. And this time we're gonna to go to our network. We're gonna click on it. All right, so mine, I am gonna see all the networks that's available. I can see I'm connected to Mojo, but also Mojo 5G is there that's available, but it looks like the, the signal strength is a little bit better on my Mojo, which is a 2.4 gigahertz. So maybe I'll, I'll do a speed test there, then I'll try the five gigahertz and just see which one's better. Uh, further down, if you go to see all network, you can see there's some more here, um, but those aren't mine, so I wouldn't be able to connect to them anyway. So we're gonna go back. And uh, just to give you a frame of reference, the reason my signal is this weak is because my Fire Stick is inside of a metal box. It's inside of a case and it's tucked in there. So not expecting to get wonderful network connectivity here. But if it was out, I would be getting better signal. So once you get to the network you're connected to, uh, you see to the right, it says press play to check your network status. Press the menu to forget this network. We're going to hit the play pause button. All right, so right there is gonna give you some information. For me, it's telling me that I'm connected to the internet, telling me I'm on my mojo, which is 2.4 gigahertz, and it tells me the last time I ran my speed test. So let's go ahead and we'll just do it again. That way you can see the process. And while we run at the bottom, it, it gives you the recommendation. So based on your speed test results, your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality without interruptions. So that's all I'm gonna be able to do anyway. This is a 1080p device. So the speed, the 37 or whatever it gave, me earlier uh, should be plenty um, to go by so internet speed again not great 23 uh, let's go back and we'll try the mojo 5g and see if that's any better like i said the 5g should be a lot faster but because it's kind of far from uh, my router it's going to show low again so we're going to hit play let's go ahead and we'll just run a speed test i uh, did give me some um some information there uh, it tells me to try positioning my Fire Stick. If you have another router, try connecting it. And like I said, this is all because my Fire Stick is inside of a metal box. So we'll see what we get anyway. All right, so even though it gives me that message, my internet speed is 237 megabits per second. So basically this recommendation that it was giving me was based off my signal strength, not 
my speed so kind of funny that that happened while on this menu you can go to your advance and you have some more information there so it gives you your signal strength your noise your channel that you're currently on your noise to signal ratio and i did a full video on this guys where i broke down what is a good range what isn't how to change channels what it means and i'll go ahead and link that video from here you can go to configure your data monitor and, and you can turn it on and within that you can have different options you can set your video quality or set alert especially if you're on limited bandwidth you do have that option there you can also get reports of your data consumption um, so that was the first menu that uh, a lot of people probably don't know about but really useful when troubleshooting network issues or just curious to see if you can improve your speeds so the next one is a way to uh, natively see your connected devices on your home network. And these are devices that essentially connected to your Amazon account that your Fire Stick is signed into. So to access this, all you need to do is hold down the microphone button and ask it to open Smart Home Dashboard. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Smart Home Dashboard. So at the top, you're going to have the different groups. You're going to have your smart home. You're going to have groups, lights, plugs, switches, as well as your cameras. And you can view all of those from your Fire Stick. And I think it's pretty cool because if you have compatible cameras, you can view it full screen. So you can see my cameras. I have my daughter's room, my son's room. I have a living room. Front door, I think that was an old one. And then I have the new front door, which is a ring. The reason the preview is showing is because I recently pulled this camera up. So let's go ahead and give it a try again. All right, so waiting for ring.com. All right, so here I am connected. You can see there's some lightning happening in the background. Um, here in Florida, uh, past three months, and this, this is what happens every season, but it rains every day, guys, every single day. Between two to five o'clock, it rains. So um, you can see we still have some lightning happening. So, so this is a... Just a camera I have sitting on the counter, essentially. So very dark down there, but you can kind of see, uh, see some of the highlights. If you look in the bottom right, I do have an echo show there showing the time. All right, let's back out. All right, so that was my quick video. Hopefully it didn't take too long, but those are two cool features that I think is worth checking out on your Fire Stick. Uh, really amazing to think that a device that can cost anywhere from $17 all the way to $49 has all these features built in. So let me know in the comment section if you knew about these two menus. Let me know if you use them. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Now, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next one.